Yep, 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 that's me, Franny. Hi! Today's video is gonna be a little different. I wanted to talk about a story time that was pretty embarrassing for me and I feel like a lot of people have these stories, they just don't want to say it. This story time is gonna be about a caca story. An embarrassing poop story that happened to me. I've had several of these, but this one stands out to me the most because I feel like it's very relatable. I just wanted to break down the barrier and just talk about my shit. Like, literally, talk about my shit. <laughs> That's what we're here for. We're here to share stories as humans, period. Before getting into the video, bitch, I know it's gonna sound super YouTube-y, but please make sure to subscribe if you like my fucking content. Give it a thumbs up, give it a thumbs down if you don't fuck with it. Like, honestly, anything to fucking interact with me. Desperate ass bitch. You know, she's just trying to get clout. Let's fucking get into it because it's, it's thick. It's a lot. So the story starts on October 2018. I went to my cousin's wedding in Jersey and it was beautiful. It was in a castle. So bitch, I was really living the fancy life for a fucking weekend. I look really cute. I ironed my hair because since we were in Jersey, I had to take advantage of that weather. So I'll put a little picture. <laughs> At this time, I was in wishy-washy terms with my ex and I used this kind of vacation or getaway to be a hoe. Real ass bitch, give a fuck about it. Big Birkin bag, hoe, five, six figures, stripes on my ass, so he calls his pussy tigger. Let's be real, you know, to get over someone, you need to get under someone. <laughs> I said what I said. I was at the wedding and it was beautiful. I was with my family and you know, I fulfilled the fantasy of hooking up with somebody at the wedding. You're a little nasty. But you know, the castle was big. We found a few spots. Anyways, that's like, I hooked up with this guy. I'm not gonna say his name. So therefore his name is Bob for the story scenario. I hooked up with Bob. Bob really liked me. I already liked Bob. We talked till five in the morning. It was beautiful. It was great. Then the next day he takes me pumpkin picking, which, oh my God, I loved because in Jersey, I used to do pumpkin picking all the time. And where I live, like it's just not the same, which I live in Miami. So if you know, you know, it's like in the middle of Homestead and you're just like, kind of just picking pumpkins for the fuck of it but over there they have like a hayride and the weather's nice so it's just a different experience you know so towards the end of our day you know knowing that i was leaving the next day he kind of talks to me and he's like hey like you know i want to continue this like i really like you and i hope you feel the same way about me and i just want to like keep talking to you we both agreed on it knowing it was kind of be like a long distance situation we facetimed we talked every day and it was kind of like we were together Eventually, he was like, yo, I want to fucking come see you. Like, you know, I miss you and I want to be with you. And I'm like, okay, that's fine with me. You know, I can show you around just like you show me around Jersey. So I'm going to show you around Miami. He has family down here and he was like, you know, I want you to meet my aunts and uncles and they're planning a dinner for me and I want you to come. And I'm like, okay, yeah, sounds great. I'm there without a doubt. I get there and it's great. They live in a nice ass house, bitch like <laughs> they got shmoneys so i was like oh my god like you know i should have came a little classier like i was in a fucking sweatshirt and like jeans it was great you know his aunt was giving me wine like expensive wine too like it tasted really fucking good then you know she starts dancing with me like she's like alexa play so i started dancing with her like we start killing it then outside or the boys like his cousin was there and like he was there and like his uncle so they were like grilling like some like five star steak like some gourmet shit like chicken pork like if you're hispanic you already know what hispanic dinner is like then we eat but bitch i was so hungry i didn't eat since breakfast and by this point it was like 10 p.m and i already had like two glasses of wine in me so a bitch was like a little tipsy but also i was fucking starving i serve myself and like usually when i go to someone's house for the first time and there's food i don't like putting a lot on my plate because i don't want to feel like i'm stingy because that's how i was raised but bitch honestly at this point i was like sis i'm hungry so i served myself fucking rice beans chicken steak with cuban bread on the side a side salad like girl i went in they're like go ahead ma like get more get more it's fine and i'm like oh, no no but then i was like yes 
yes so i keep serving more on my plate bitch i was hungry like after dinner we're like just chilling by the couch just talking shit bob he's like be right back i'm gonna go to the bathroom and i'm like okay chilling he's taking like five years in the bathroom and i'm like oh, okay like you know i guess he's taking a shit or i don't know my stomach is a little <laughs> rumbly after all the shit i ate i would expect you know to let it out some way <laughs> girl i was like okay i need to do that i go into this bathroom and first of all the bathroom is beautiful it smells really good a nice bathroom i noticed that their toilet though was like one of those european toilets that were like super fucking fancy so when i get up i was like okay there's no wipes all right doable there was no trash can why i don't fucking know i don't know why people don't have trash cans in their bathrooms i'm the type of person i don't know if you feel me i'm the type of person that if i don't have wipes bitch i'm using like a shitload of toilet paper to clean myself because i do not like having a musty asshole i said what i said you know i'm being very free and i don't care so my way of thinking is okay there's no trash can so i'm just gonna wipe throw that one in the toilet flush wipe again and throw that one in the toilet and repeat you know as many times because i don't want to fucking clog the toilet so the first one comes i wipe and i throw it in the fucking toilet right <laughs> so this is when things go sideways <laughs> Since they had a nice European toilet, they had like the ones with the buttons on the top of the toilet. So there was one and another one. So I'm like, okay, well, I guess they must do the same thing, right? <laughs> I press one of them. I, I forgot which one, but I press one of them and I'm looking at the toilet and instead of going where it's supposed to go, that shit is rising and i'm like oh my god oh my god i'm like looking at the toilet that's all i can really do is just look at the fucking toilet and just start freaking out i'm like oh my god oh my god like what am i gonna do i start looking around to see if there's like you know a towel like something so like these people don't know what's going on because that's so fucking embarrassing and my shit is rising with the water like luckily it wasn't diarrhea but like bitch there was there was stuff in there you know i'm gonna be super fucking embarrassed this is the worst moment of my life this is the toilet the toilet rim and this is the water <laughs> literally it was so close to overflowing and i'm like oh my god like what do i do what do i do i was just like let's just chill like relax francesca like it's gonna be fine let's just let gravity do the work right i had to wait there for like 10 minutes like just waiting for the water to go down and just waiting and waiting and waiting and i'm like oh my god like this is so embarrassing i already was in the bathroom for like 20 minutes at this point the water went down and i was like okay now i'm gonna try to flush it again you know using common sense i go and i flush it again bitch tell me how the water was like <laughs> Fuck you, bitch. And literally just started rising again. In my mind, this is what I thought about doing, which is so gross. I literally thought about taking the shit, like getting a fucking toilet paper, taking the shit out. I don't know, like kind of like hiding it and then throwing it out when I leave the bathroom. But the way that their bathroom was set up was the bathroom was kind of in front of the dining room slash living room. So as soon as you open the door, bitch, everybody's there to greet you. But I couldn't even hide it. I couldn't hide it. I couldn't find my way around it. It was so, so scary. I was like, oh my God, like what am I gonna do? The water rises again, same thing, the toilet, the water right here you know i texted bob and i was like hey was the toilet broken when you went to use it because i figured he took so long in the bathroom that maybe that's why he was taking so long because he also couldn't figure out the toilet situation and he was like no like i mean it was fine when i went in he's like why and i'm like bro Da, 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 da. i just hear him outside of the bathroom like laughing and i'm like oh my god this is so embarrassing and i'm like help me like i don't know what to do and then he's like hold on i hear a knock on the bathroom door and i'm like okay he's here to save me you know but i open the door and bitch it was his fucking aunt like 
that is so embarrassing why would you send your aunt like i wanted you because i know you and then you can tell your aunt like something you know i was so embarrassed i'm like why would you tell your fucking she's like is everything okay and mind you she's pretty drunk she's had like four glasses of wine by now and i'm like no like i don't know what's going on with your toilet like it's just not working it's water keeps rising and i don't know what to do and she's like oh my god it's fine and she opens the fucking toilet and there's all the water like up to the rim with my shit like waving high at her and i'm like oh my god like this is so embarrassing then she's like it's fine it's fine like i'll fix it i'll fix it and i'm like okay like i'm sorry i didn't know how it worked like i don't know what's going on with your toilet this is where i was like okay bitch like girl you need to reevaluate your toilet she was like there was this one time that this girl came over and the same thing happened to her and she put her poop in her bag and then when she left she had to throw it away <laughs> Isn't that funny? And I'm like, bitch, you need to get a new toilet. Like, you need to get a new fucking toilet. Why? Why the fuck do you still keep this toilet if other people have had the same experience I've had? I don't get it. I think it's a toilet that is supposed to conserve water, but clearly doesn't work out. She needs like a heavy duty toilet because if you're serving heavy duty food for dinner, bitch, you gotta expect a heavy duty caca period after that you know we kind of laughed it off that was embarrassing but at least you know they were fine about it they made a joke about it so that's why i made this video so you guys can also laugh you know about your poop stories with your friends your family your significant others i think it's funny to tell these stories okay so i hope you guys enjoyed my poop story time it's really embarrassing but honestly you know i hope you guys laughed about it because shit i fucking do till this day to this day to this day let me know if you want more story times bitch i have so many story times that i can go on and on about so just let me know if you fuck with this energy and bitch i'll give it to you period bye it's me.